What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update. I know you guys could probably already tell it is going down just by that title alone. You're definitely going to want to see this one as we've got Trump's lawyer, Mike Davis, coming out with a serious warning to all the rogue agents that came after Donald Trump with the political witch hunts and the charade cases. Um, I'm not going to say much on the front end because I don't want to spoil it. All I will say is that all these rogue agents that came after Donald Trump with the legal law there, their days in power is quickly coming to a halt. Guys, I'm excited to get in this one, so we're not straight into it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe, but before I even get into it, you guys, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for your boy. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it, folks. Check this one out. They're interfering. They shut down their investigation. They announced they're shutting down their investigation the day after Trump beat Kamala Harris <laughs> like the drum. You're admitting this was this was election. <laughs> there needs to be a criminal probe open on this. This is a conspiracy against rights against Trump, his top aides, his allies, his supporters under 18 USC, Section 241. It, it's not only Jack Smith, it's Tish James, uh, Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade, all these bad, Chris Mays in Arizona, these bad actors, these Democrat uh -oh. operatives who are running this unprecedented republic ending lawfare against Trump, his aides, and his allies, his supporters. There must be consequences for this. There particularly must be consequences to what they did to the January 6th defendants. They need to be pardoned or commute their sentence, pardon almost all of them, commute the sentences for the worst offenders. Uh, so there's no, there's no, nothing that happened on January 6th that calls for someone going to prison for 22 years. That is absolutely ridiculous. So you would commute his sentence down to something that's more fair and just and reasonable. You dismiss all of these charges immediately on January 20th. You shut down these offices. You reassign these prosecutors and these agents to real crimes in D.C. and, and, and the southern border. And you, you restore these people with the, with the, the, with the Department of Justice. Uh, there's, a, there's a fund at the jo Department of Justice you can do to compensate these defendants who are persecuted under the Fisher's. And this is outrageous. What oh, they, interesting. It, so this fund already a fund already exists if you've been unlawfully persecuted by the federal government to financially compensate. Yes, and it, it, it needs to be more than that. There needs to be bar complaints. There needs to be mm -hmm. Justice Department. And this right here with Mike Davis, the plan or the play that he is laying out is exactly why we're getting, you know, these rogue agents, attorney generals like Letitia James um, up in the state of New York. She's coming out, making these cries for help, saying, hey, we're going to fight back against Donald Trump, no matter what his administration, because they know it's it's time. You know, it's the time has come where, you know, all the wrongdoing, all the injustice. Um, case they brought about against Donald Trump, they have to pay back for it. Um, and I think it should be, you know, not only coming out of their pocket, but also maybe some time served because that just cannot happen. Um, the way they weaponized our DOJ against a, a presidential candidate just doesn't make sense. There needs to be bar complaints. There needs to be mm. Justice Department, employment investigations, ethics mm. investigations, criminal investigations. We need to send a very strong message this exactly. can never happen again. You could never politicize and weaponize our intel agencies and law enforcement for the sole purpose of going after your political enemy. And that's what happened here. That's unacceptable. And that's why I'm outraged, right? And, you know, people, I, I always joke that I'm going to be the acting attorney general or I'm going to be the vice. I'm not going to do any of those jobs. I'm going to be a very strong supporter of President Trump through the Article 3 project like I have been for the last five years, but I'm going to push very hard for severe legal, political and financial consequences to these partisan assholes who did this to Trump, his aides, his allies, his support. I mean, we've seen this in the first term. How does Trump break through the amount of lawfare and the amount of screen, you know, demonic screaming from the left um, kind of in, in, a, in a way in, in, in the way that uses executive power constitutionally? to say this is what's right for the country? I, I think President Trump would say this. I, uh, e even President Trump would say this. I think he learned his lesson from the first term, and mm. that is personnel is key, right? And it is 
so critically important that you put good people in the right post like Mark Paoletta as attorney general so you don't mm. have to deal with this nonsense, right? Mm. You don't have to deal with this politicized and weaponized justice system. President Trump and his legal team now, uh, led by John Sauer, who should be the solicitor general hmm. of the United States, has got a mon they've gotten monumental wins at the Supreme Court, including on presidential immunity. Uh, let me just say this to Big Tish James, the New York Attorney General. I, I dare you. I uh -oh. dare you to try to continue your lawfare against President Trump in his second term. Because listen here, sweetheart, we're not messing around this time, and we will put your ass in prison for conspiracy against rights. And I no, he did get her, yo. Mike Davis is not what he said the second time around. We are not messing around. You better watch your back. I mean, and, and rightfully so. The message she had right after, directly after Donald Trump was elected, she went on uh on on live and did a public service announcement almost threatening donald trump's administration daring them to come after her for all of her wrongdoings and he's like i dare you to keep this charade up see what happens see where where, where it lands you i mean come on oh my goodness and his second term because listen here sweetheart we're not messing around this time and we will put your ass in prison for conspiracy against rights and i promise you that so think long and hard before you want to violate President Trump's constitutional rights or any other Americans' constitutional rights, we uh, it's not going to happen again. We've been warning people on the show, Mike, this isn't the same Trump administration. Stop messing around. Don't rig elections. Don't illegally vote. Don't I try don't know, uh, the funny business because we know the team this time and they are not effing around. Right. And so we've done, we've done our best to warn, just to, maybe just really quickly here, uh, Fannie Willis, that seems to be... <laughs> One of the one of the last prosecutions against Donald Trump that hasn't been completely thrown in the garbage just yet. Maybe a message to Fannie Willis. Yeah, big Fannie, another one. Where where do they find these people? It's just like <laughs> at Weight Watchers. Where do they where do they find these these slobs to be prosecutors against Trump? I would say to to big Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. Uh, it's very clear that the Georgia Court of Appeals is going to disqualify their entire office because big Fannie hired her dumb unqualified boyfriend nathan wade paid him seven hundred thousand dollars two hundred and fifty dollars an hour and then big fanny took illegal kickbacks from nathan wade in the form of lavish trips around the world napa the caribbean belize i'm a gray goose girl i mean where do they find these dumb flops right and then she got up and lied about it in court right so she's going which she should be like, come on now, that's perjury on the stand. Where are the charges behind that? We need to hold these figures accountable for their actions. I mean, she knew what she was doing. She knew what she was getting up there and saying. She did no accident. Where is the consequence at? Papa, the Caribbean Belize. I'm a gray goose girl. I mean, where do they find these dumb flops, right? And then she got up and lied about it in court, right? So she's going to get disqualified from this case. This case will go to another. Uh, district attorney in Georgia, and no one in their right mind would bring this case again because it's not a crime to object to a presidential election. It's allowed by the Electoral Count Act of 1887. It's allowed by the First Amendment. Again, I want to say to these Democrat prosecutors and these Democrat hellholes, we're not messing around this time, right? So uh, proceed accordingly. Yeah, I don't know how they keep their law licenses after this. I just don't. I I don't know how they stay within the bar. Um, after what they've done. And, and when the people know the truth, when people actually understand the truth, and now that we control the media ecosystem, now that more people have like tuned out and that's it's broken and it's dead and it's, it's gone, right? This election proved it once and for all. Now we can tell the truth. We can tell the true story. Cash Patel was on here talking about this just a second ago. Like now is time for truth and reconciliation for the American people to actually understand how their government operates. We're very excited. Um, we're very excited about this moment, Mike. And, and this this interview proves once again, like all my interviews with you, Ben Johnson, why I will never get confirmed to anything. So I will not be the AG. I will not be the White House counsel. I will not do anything. I'm going to be very happily running the Article 3 project, and we're going to very effectively uh, work with the Trump administration to make sure that President Trump has a very successful second term unimpeded by Democrat lawfare and election interference and all the other nonsense that they pulled. We're not 
messing around this time. Yo, there we have it, guys. That one coming from our friend Benny Johnson. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there, check that out. I'll ask you guys to go over there. Show our friend Benny Johnson tons of love and support. He's a solid dude. Oh my goodness, guys. We're hearing Trump's lawyer, Mike Davis, saying tread lightly to all those rogue agents, you know, figures that came after Donald Trump with the political witch hunts, all the charade cases. I mean, come on. On. And we all knew this day was going to come, you know, where people seen through the it, amount man. of support that Donald Trump got through all of those cases. We all knew that this day was going to come where Donald Trump would be, you know, the president elect, the sitting president. All these cases would just look so silly. You know, you can't even think to have an, another district attorney's office bringing about Feeney's case after he gets dropped because it, it just looks weird. You know, it looks silly to be doing this on a sitting president. Um, and it looked even more weird to see it being done on a presidential candidate. Uh, we all knew why the cases were being brought about, the same reason why they're being dropped. We're seeing cases being dropped day, literally a day after Donald Trump is elected in, um, as, you know, as president. So there was a reason why these cases were brought about, and it was all to interfere with the election. And now their time to pay has finally come, guys, and we have not forgot about what they put Donald Trump through. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you'd enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We got it.